What's going on guys? So I'm pretty excited about today's video because I get to work with my hands a little bit and I'm gonna do a pretty simple DIY project in the bathroom that practically anybody can do. So I would like you to hang out with me for the next couple of minutes and watch as I install this bad boy in my shower and finally add a little tranquility and relaxation to my daily routine. Don't go anywhere because it's coming right up. Okay, welcome back and as always, I'm happy that you're here. So really quick before I jump straight into this installation, if you're new to my channel, once again, welcome. I'm John and I'm the founder of 40overfashion.com and I've been creating content that's been helping men look better, feel better and have more confidence since 2014. So if you can get on board with men's lifestyle topics for grownups, please consider tapping that little red subscribe button down below and join in. All right, first things first. Now, I do realize this video falls a little outside of my usual style content, but I need to say this because let's face it, right? With the world spending significantly more time at home right now with basically no end in sight, simple DIY upgrades like adding this rain shower that I have from Groa creates more luxurious day-to-day -day experiences that are really important, at least for me, because I'm trying to make the most of my time at home. And that means for me anyway, investing in small personal luxuries that can help me enjoy my time at home instead of always craving going out. Today's video is sponsored by Groa, but to be clear, all reviews and opinions are my own. So today I'm gonna to be walking through the installation of this very cool Rain Shower Smart Connect 310 shower head that Gro sent over. And I gotta say, I'm pretty excited about it. So let's jump in and see what comes in the box and some of its features. All right, so let's dive in and see uh, what all they sent. First off, they sent this new shower arm, which is very cool, nice and beefy. And so this is going to replace the existing short arm that comes out of the wall because this thing is really pretty big and uh, it's just a little too large to be able to go into the existing arm that sticks out of the wall. Then we got this bad boy right here. We have obviously some instructions, very good. And the main shower head, holy mackerel. Look at the size of this thing. It's absolutely huge. This is where the batteries go. We'll get into all of this stuff and pairing the remote control in just a little bit. Uh, we have an, an, another important instruction sheet that talks about the little gaskets that go inside. This is the remote control that mounts to the shower wall on the inside. And this is watertight. This is what this looks like. This is where the little battery goes. We'll get into all of this and how to pair it in just a little bit. You have some more instruction detail. We've got batteries and the cover plate for the remote control. We also have the screen and the gasket in this little bag right here that goes in the bottom right at that attachment. So we'll get to that in just a few. And we've also got some more batteries and the actual cover plate for this opening right here. So you put the batteries in this tray, then you drop it in here and that makes your connection. It's designed as a pretty easy upgrade to your current shower because really it's just simply replacing your current shower head and shower arm and then attaching the remote control to the wall. And because the remote control is watertight, it conveniently mounts to the wall, making it easily accessible. So you no longer have to reach up to the shower head like I currently do to change out the spray pattern. All right, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I do wanna get the batteries installed in both the remote control and the shower head so we can start the pairing process. Now it does come with all the batteries and this is just a standard uh, CR2032 battery. Drops right in and there is a gasketed cover plate on the back. That's just a press and turn. There we go, that's good to go. And as you can see, this light is now blinking on the remote control, meaning that it's ready to pair with the actual shower head. So once I install the batteries in the shower head, this light will go out, meaning that it's paired. So let's do that. Comes with the batteries already installed in this little box. So it's just kind of a drop and fit. You just kind of wiggle it a little bit, press down and it drops right in. And as you can see, just like that, that went out. So that means these two components are ready to go. All right, welcome to my bathroom. As you can see, pretty standard builder grade stuff here. Okay, we're just gonna start off by removing the shower head and we're just gonna use an adjustable pair of pliers. Right back here. This one's on pretty good. 
All right, not too bad. These come off pretty easy if you've ever done a shower head replacement. They are very, very simple. And uh, as you can see, this one is a little scuzzy, but not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this one out of the way. Then what we're gonna do is um, take this shower arm off. And as you can see, the, the silicone is already broken back here. So what we can do, the best way to take the shower arm off is to use a screwdriver as leverage. You can put it right up in this pipe. And this elbow basically just screws right into another 90 degree that's inside the wall. So what we're trying to do is just use this as leverage and just unscrew, unscrew this arm. Actually got pretty lucky with this one. There we go. So this is the old existing one and thank you builders for putting Teflon tape on this one. Okay, I've got the new shower arm and I did install the uh, trim cover plate for this one. So what we need to do now is put some Teflon tape on the threads. And the trick here is to always put the Teflon tape on in a clockwise manner. That way when you thread it into the wall, it's not gonna come unraveled because you're basically tightening the Teflon tape as you're threading it into the wall. So we'll get this nice and tight and we'll go ahead and do the other side as well. Okay, so now that I've got the new shower arm ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall this. Just like I took the other one out. Super simple stuff here, guys. You do want this tight. You don't want this over tight and you don't wanna break anything, but I'm just gonna do this um, tight by hand. And right about there is where it's getting pretty snug. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off with the lever arm, basically my screwdriver, and get it nice and square right about like that. And that looks really, really good. So let's go ahead and get on with installing that shower head. All right, so these two components came with the shower head and there are some instructions right here that show where they go. So let's go ahead and get these installed. It looks like this goes in, the screen goes in first, upside down, just like that, very simple. And then this gasket, there's no sort of inside or outside that just drops in just like that and we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and install this thing. Okay, I've got the shower head all prepped and ready to go. We're just gonna go ahead and thread it right onto the end of our shower arm. Just like that, that's going on beautifully. I like the articulation this thing has, very cool. All right, now we got to a point where it's a little snug. We're gonna go ahead and finish it off with an adjustable wrench. And that is it. Just like that, holy moly, this thing is gonna be amazing. Okay, so far I really can't believe how easy this thing has been to install. Everything that you've seen me do has been for the first time, so there's been zero hiccups whatsoever. Now it's time to install the remote control. Now there's a couple different ways you can install this. There, it does come with some 3M tape, but it also comes with some mounting hardware to make it a more permanent mount. However, I'm just gonna tape it now because I don't know like where I want this thing installed. I don't know what's gonna be more convenient. I'm thinking here, but there might be something here or maybe back here. I'm not exactly sure yet. So I'm gonna start with just taping it here. And then if I like where that's located, I'll go ahead and mount that in with the hardware that came with it. But basically what we've got here is this is just a twist lock and it just unscrews. So this mounting base is just gonna attach right here to the wall and this is gonna screw on. As you can see right here, I'll try to get a little shot here. If you can see that little notch cut out, there's a corresponding uh, threaded hole here and that is for a, a locking set screw. So what you want is you wanna make sure that when you install this plate, uh, whether or not you're taping it or screwing it, that this little set screw hole is facing downward. So if I want it right there, this set screw hole is facing straight down. Then I can just grab the remote, put it on, twist it, and this is nice and nice and straight. It's upside down, but you get the idea. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. I think that's a pretty good spot. So I've already cleaned this area. I'm gonna peel off the adhesive backing. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this right here. I'm gonna make sure that that um, threaded access hole for that um, Allen screw is facing straight down. There's actually even an arrow, an up arrow right there that I didn't recognize or didn't see until right now. So I'm putting that on. 
And that stuff is going to be pretty sticky. So this might even be good for a permanent solution. But like I said, I'm probably going to go ahead and mount it with the, the screw hardware that came with it. So that's going to sit there just like that. I've got the remote control. Bingo. Just like that. Peel this bit of plastic off. And that really, that really looks pretty good. I can't wait to get this fired up. This has probably been one of the easiest installations of any type of plumbing, anything that I've ever done. All right, here with the moment of truth. I'm gonna try to get out of the way of the camera. Um, pretty tight quarters here, but we'll turn on the water. Make sure we're not leaking anywhere. Quick check. I don't see any leaks. Okay, so keep an eye out for leaks, but so far so good. So we've got buttons here that are gonna control the spray pattern. So this one is like a center jet. <laughs> That's really cool. This one I believe is gonna be rain. That's so cool. And then I think this one is like a mixture of both. And that is in fact the case. Okay, there's another feature that I almost forgot about and that is if you want to default to a specific spray pattern every time you come in and turn the water on, basically when the water is on, press and hold for three seconds, okay? Then go ahead and turn the water off. In 30 minutes or tomorrow, the next time you take a shower, that will be your default, right? That's where it's going to turn on. If you don't like that one, if you wanna change it to a different one, same thing, press and hold for three seconds, let go, turn the water off in 30 minutes or the next time you take a shower, that will now be your default. So what do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? So it is the next day and I've already been in the shower this morning and it's awesome. So I think my favorite spray pattern is probably the, the center jet combined with the surrounding rain shower because it's this perfect deluge of water. But here's my final thoughts on the Groa rain shower. As you saw, it was probably the easiest and most straightforward plumbing installation I've ever done. I'm not sure if that's all about the German engineering, but everything just worked the way it was supposed to and there were zero hiccups along the way because if there was, you would have seen it. So I love that sleek, minimal design and the remote control easily switches between the different spray settings as you saw. I'm very impressed with the fit and finish and even though this wasn't really a complete bathroom makeover, it's really a nice addition to an otherwise very normal bathroom shower. Now, there will be a link down below in the description to go check out this shower head along with all the other cool products that Groa manufactures. Guys, thank you very much for watching and if you are a subscriber, that means I'll see you again in just a few days for another brand new video. But until then, my friend, live well and I do hope to see you again very soon.